Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over what a spectrophotometer is and the basics, like how to calibrate and use it. Let's get started. This is the standard Genesis 20 spectrophotometer that you will encounter in your lab. It consists of three main parts. The display, which gives you the readout of the absorbance and the wavelength at which you are measuring. There's the interface, which you will be using to adjust the wavelength and blank the machine. And finally, the area in which you put the samples. These are the standard cuvettes that you will see when working with the spectrophotometer. Generally, you will only receive one or two. Cuvettes are designed especially for the spectrophotometer. As you can see, they have a transparent side and an opaque side. You must only hold the cuvette on the opaque side, like so. If you hold it on the transparent side, you will get oil and fingerprints and thus you will have an inaccurate reading. Make sure you hold it on the ridged side. There may come a time when you need to adjust the wavelength on the machine. As you can see here, the machine is currently set to read at 465 nanometers. To adjust this, simply click the NM up or the NM down button. As you see here, I adjust it to 475. Whenever you begin using the machine, or after you've adjusted the wavelength, you must blank it. Simply take a cuvette with deionized water, or whichever your blank must be, take a Kim wipe, and gently wipe the transparent sides of the cuvette. Be careful not to scratch the sides of the cuvette, as that will produce inaccurate readings. Next, open the hood and firmly and carefully insert the cuvette making sure not to spill any drops into the machine, and close the door. If you look closely, you will see an arrow alongside where you put in the cuvette. That is the way that the light passes, therefore your transparent edges must be facing the same way. Put the cuvette in, and again make sure that the light passes through the transparent edges alongside with the arrow. Now you're ready to blank the instrument. Simply hit the zero abs button as you see there and it will set the blank. Once the instrument readout is set to zero, you know that you're ready to go. Without adjusting any settings, simply take out your blank, holding the opaque side of course, and insert your cuvette with the solution of which you'd like to take the absorbance. Make sure that you take a Kim wipe and wipe the transparent sides of the cuvette to make sure that there are no smudges or drops of solution on the side. And again, place it in the machine, face in the correct way, and close the door. Once you've inserted the cuvette with your sample, simply close the door. Do not adjust any settings. All you need to do is wait for the reading to stabilize. The reading, as you can see, is right there. Here it finally stabilizes at 0 0.107. Remember, absorbance does not have units. And there you have it, the basics of a spectrophotometer. Good luck and have fun!